Do you suggest yoga, Pilates, or good old-fashioned weight training to improve my strength on the bike and run? Strength training is kind of an over-abused word, and it's a scary word for endurance athletes because a lot of people think strength training means going in the gym and lifting barbells and standing next to some gorilla with, you know, big arms and a tight shirt on. Uh, st strength training is not about you know getting big big lats and bigger bigger pecs. It's really making it muscle specific and changing your workload. Uh, I I'm a big advocate of Pilates. I think it's great. I, I love a lot of the yoga postures and yoga movements. And I also think that there should be strength training that should work on the smaller muscle groups, not just your glute maximus and not just your lateral quad. You should also do exercises that work the smaller muscles in your butt and in your lower back. You should also work your rotator muscles between your shoulder blades, and there's there's a number of exercises that you can do with stretch cords or just a simple block, um, where you can do single leg exercise that help your stabilization, your balance, and ultimately your strength. One of the problems that I, that I feel is an issue with with endurance athletes is that in doing these smaller exercises, again, I'm not referring to lat pull downs or bench press or or military press, is that we don't take the exercises to near muscular failure. And you can take these smaller muscle ex exercise groups to muscular, muscular failure and really benefit by doing that because they need to have that, that workload where they're going to support those big muscles when you're under duress or when you're racing. So uh, without defining the, the workout schedule, I'm a big advocate of doing it twice a week is, is a big plus throughout the whole year, even the competitive year. Don't let it go during the competitive year. Big mistake.